Hi, everyone. It's Dr. Keenan, and I'm happy to be here today with Robin Holder from Bermuda. So Robin, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, how you've been impacted, your work's been impacted from COVID? Well, um, just first, let me say, uh, I was uh, born and raised in the UK, but my mother's from Bermuda and my family is all in Bermuda. Um, I've been living here for about 30 years and my formal career was in uh, public relations and journalism, but now I'm a, a personal fitness instructor, um, a yoga instructor, and I have a dog walking business. So um, I have definitely been impacted by COVID and the lockdowns in terms of the whole world, in terms of fitness, people have you know stopped going to gyms in in large numbers because now people are working at home. Uh, classes for yoga weren't being held in the studios, so at the moment. Um, I'm not teaching indoor yoga. Um, and in terms of my dog walking business, um, I had a very lucrative business with people flying off the island. They, they needed their pets to be taken care of. And now because of the restrictions, people aren't traveling. And I'm not that kind of, I'm not getting the same kind of business as I was getting before. So definitely in many different ways, I've been impacted um, financially, but on an emotional level, yeah, it's been really hard to know that I, I can't hug people. I'm a very touchy feely, you know, lovable, outgoing guy. And now I have to keep my distance and, and stay home, you know, in, in a very contained environment. It's definitely not been healthy, but, um, what I learned to do during the first lockdown is I think what has helped me is to discover my hobbies. Like I like to write and I hadn't written for a long time, not since I was working at the Royal Gazette. Have I found the, you know, um, desire to write again personally. So I've been writing um, about yoga, I've been writing about meditation and the things that I think can help you ironically um, is meditation, is being able to be active, getting out, getting out into nature, going to the beaches when possible, uh, going into the trails and just moving. Um, I remember being quite depressed and not willing to do anything. But now I've, I'm getting through this because um, I think it's important to make space for yourself, and to be quiet for yourself. So if you can find uh, space in your day for meditation, I think that will help. Uh, definitely stay active, um, whether it's walking, running or walking your dog, playing with your cat. Um, playing with your kids it's 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 going to keep you it's going to keep you um, active and then you know finding a hobby so I think those are the things that are are getting are getting me through this for sure um, but I'm itching for the lockdown to to end so I can return to the to the gym and see my friends and socialize once again well, that's great, Robin. You know, I think we're all in a very similar situation, uh, but thanks for sharing your three, you know, um, meditation, getting active and engaging in some hobbies. So, yes. yeah. so if others want to reach out to you or to follow you once we get out of lockdown, how can they um, reach out to you? Well, they can reach me on Facebook um, at Robin Holder, but they can also find me on Instagram, Flow with Robin. Okay. Well, that's perfect. And they can email me at robinholder10 robinholder10 at yahoo.com that's perfect thanks so much robin and Should i look repeat that robinholder10 at yahoo.com <laughs> and i'll put all those in the notes so people can see them yeah um but it's great thanks for sharing that with me robin 
And I look forward to a yoga class with you sometime very, very soon. Yeah. Yes, I look forward to um, having uh, group classes again, for sure. Maybe uh, uh, yoga at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a plan. So thanks everybody for watching and wishing you all today. Yes. Um, wishing you all blessings of love, joy, and bliss from Bermuda. Have a wonderful day. Okay, take care.